This video describes the HP3 iDosimeter headband for use with the Harshaw TLD chip straight technology. The headband is worn over the eye. In the case of the one element headband, it is worn over the eye where the dose is expected to be the greatest. This is the headband with one pocket and shown by part number TLD SHBE1P or TLD headband for lens of eye dosimetry with a PTFE insert, one pocket. Part number TLD SHBES is a replacement for the previously mentioned headband where the PTFE insert is reused while disposing of the headband. The TLD headband for lens of the eye dosimetry with PTFE inserts having three pockets allows the wearer to position a dosimeter element over each eye and one in the center to measure dose to the each eye as well as the dose to the center of the forehead. There are two main styles of headband. The first style has one pocket as seen here. The second style has three pockets as shown by these areas with the black markings, although a two style is also available. The standard headband with no PTFE insert is used to replace a previously purchased one pocket with PTFE insert when the headband goes bad or needs to be replaced. What's shown here is TLD SHBES, the TLD headband standard with no PTFE insert. The TLD SHBE1P or TLD headband for lens of the eye dosimetry with a PTFE insert one pocket is shown here and you can see the extra PTFE insert compared to the no insert. The PTFE insert may be removed and be reused as part of the whole program. A single chip straight is used as part of the one pocket headband. The TLD SHBE3P or TLD headband for lens of the eye dosimetry with PTFE inserts three pockets contains three Teflon inserts. This provides coverage for the left, right, and forehead. This is the assembled form of the headband. The front shows the white PTFE filtration element and on the back you can see the chip straight covered by the black filter that's part of the headband. Some people prefer to turn the chip straight in the opposite direction so the barcode is visible. And this is acceptable as long as you realize that there's a slight bit of extra filtration due to the Kapton material. In addition, you can use a heat sealing iron and seal this edge here to keep uh, contamination from the field away from the chip straight and getting into the pocket.